Mm -hmm. Mal. Yeah. What kind of cake is this? Caramel. This one. Caramel. Well, you're looking at the bad side. Oh, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, well, oh, anyway, this. It's changed everything. So this is a cake for Brandon's birthday. Multiple Brandon birthdays. Mm -hmm. uh, and yesterday we did notably go out for Brandon's birthday, and that was like what Brandon wanted to do for his birthday, but no one asked us what we wanted to do for Brandon's birthday. <laughs> and that's why we decided on Brandon's birthday we wanted to take Brandon to Golden Corral, which is a place he's never been before. And it's a place I may never go back to. <laughs> I don't know. I've got very high hopes for this place. The reviews are stellar, and I think I think we're gonna have a great time. And I got I got dressed up, and I did a I did a Golden Corral manicure with the collars. Look, I'm all ready. I'm I'm ready to party. Everyone else has been to Golden Corral, right? Like yeah, yeah. I'm wearing black to celebrate the loss of my not going to Golden Corral. <laughs> Good time and it's gonna be Look, I am so around. excited to spend time with my friends. Yeah, that's the most important part. Yeah, and it, and we'll be spending time talking about uh, foodborne illness in yeah. a day or two. Maybe experiencing. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? It actually might be fine. It might. I haven't been to a Golden Corral in years. You think they're gonna have candy yeah. corn at the salad bar? They actually probably will. Like, like, yeah. I, I, I got. I warmed everybody up with my friend's picture of when he went to Golden Corral and they had a uh, candy corn in the salad bar. So they posted a photo of a very cursed salad, which you are allowed to include in the blog if you'd like me to. Sure. It's, um... He said he appreciated the cameo. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, Golden Crow is an interesting place, and sometimes where they would normally put an item, it doesn't fit, so they put it somewhere else, which is why things like candy corn can just be included in the salad bar. No, it's just because that's a normal salad topping. Oh, that's a normal America. salad topping. Yeah. When, uh... We went to Golden Corral in college yeah. once, right? I think, like, with your once parents. Yeah. Was yeah. that on the vlog? Was that pre-vlog? Uh, I'm not sure. Onion, okay, that's, the like, the last time I went. So, so it's been ten, ten, yeah. ten, ten, no, ten years? Like, which is basically the same thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 growing up in all the years, like, leading up to high school, I probably went, like, maybe a half dozen times. Like... It was rare enough for me to remember, like, uh, like a few, but it wasn't like. It's a, a place bunch. that I actually have been to quite a few times because, like, when my grandparents would come to town, like once the K and W was gone, <laughs> once K and W was gone, we would go to like. Th I'm not exaggerating. We would go to Golden Crow every single night, I mean, every that's night. Impressive. Yeah, I, yeah, for like five or six days. Oh wow. Yeah, like I was just destroyed and test. Like my intestines were. Yeah. That obliterated. Might been, that might have been the Golden Crown. It was the Golden Crown. Yeah, I only yeah. went there for marching band stuff because we could call ahead and put 300 people in there. No. Oh. Yeah. Imagine if we had 300 friends that lived in Raleigh. Or imagine if we had 300 yeah, friends. Had one friend. <gasps> I left the price tag on there because it's it's important. Yeah, I, I I was I was with Alex when he found this, so I was. This is um, just something to keep around to remind you not to invest too much of your personal soul into a job because the company only cares so much about you. Thanks for your contribution to network supplier <laughs> management, Tracy. Yeah, that it, uh, Tracy, I'm sure made a hell of a contribution, and that's what Tracy got for it, and it ended up in the thrift store. Yeah, because Don't Tracy. Don't let yourself be Tracy. I don't want to be Tracy. <laughs> I want to be Brandon. So Tracy got this for working. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I have it. <laughs> because Tracy doesn't want this. It's just a reminder, to, a never, reminder. to never become Tracy. Yeah. You can look at it on your wall and be like, ah, that's right. Does this mean Tracy. that he like was Cisco the, the person who had to talk to Cisco reps all day? I think Tracy was like good at sailboats or something. Is that a sailboat? The sailboat's about it's teamwork. teamwork. Right. If everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. <laughs> That's not how sailboats work. <laughs> you, listen. Wait, how many people we don't need to hire those managers? That you can <laughs> <laughs> 
Teamwork will take care of it. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, there's like nine people here, but they're just chilling. No they're one, not even sailing. It looks like they're like about to capsize, actually. Because <laughs> the wind is doing this. Mm. And so, they, so they decided instead, of, instead of doing something about that, they're all just going to sit over here to kind of like... Sounds about right. Right up. Happy birthday, Brandon. Here's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. But I'm back. I tried to get one of everything. Like everything that they have? Not in one go. Oh, okay. Not in one go. I can't do that. for the evening. Oh, okay. But yeah, like, I thought you were trying to do fried fish, go. fried chicken. Yeah. I can't. Name. It look, it's all obvious. <laughs> I'm not gonna name all these things. It's obvious. I can't name it. Though. It's I can't. Just name a big it. plate of brown. Yeah, this is like years of war. The food. <laughs> I'm realizing that this plate looks insane. <laughs> like, it is. Like Golden Corral is the type of place. Well, yeah, I wanted to try a fry, Mallory. I don't need more than one. You just that, the fried jalapeno one. is spicy. They give you hard. It is an tacos. entire jalapeno. Well, yeah, it's with the seeds and all. What? I know, I have they give you hard nachos. shell tacos to suggest that you could have like a taco. I had a taco. I, I'm just, I made a, a, a pile, a southwestern pile. It's really good. Too. Yeah, I, I'm just kind of eating it. <laughs> They were advertising chicken wings on the sign outside, so these are the flavors. And then this is a sesame chicken. This is a taco, sort of. It's uh, it's fruit time. I had, um, oh, you got the churro, I'm so Fine. sorry. The churro's bad? It's, just try it. Like, it's not as bad, it's not. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> We'll talk more about this when we get home. <laughs> but my first thought is I had three entire plates of food, a fruit bowl, and then some dessert, so I'm stuffed. And uh, I... Mistakes were made. Mis there were mistakes made, and also I need a priest. Are you on the ground? Yes. You're on the ground? How are you on the ground? We're How? It's machines. really easy. We uh, partied so hard for Brandon's birthday. <laughs> Brandon, how was your birth? That was birthday number two. <laughs> okay, we did this in the wrong order. <laughs> so we really oh. needed this to be the thing we did before the thing that was good. Oh, <laughs> Which is yeah. what we did yesterday. So, so I, uh, I was fully prepared to just love it. Really? To go all in to- Are you to, serious Like though? any shred of, of no, salvageable- we, Here's the thing. Love you, of any like, oh, any- like excuse to make apologies for Golden Corral. I was so ready to seize on that and just oh, God. Full, just love it with all my being. You were, I, there was nothing redeemable about it. There, there was a there human was. poop on the floor in the men's room. <laughs> well, this is not hyperbole. That is not hyperbole. That is real. That is real. Did you that happened. Know? No, I can't do that. And I don't want to do that. Um, so I, I feel like I set expectations reasonably well that it was gonna not probably be super great you weren't in the car with the three of us no we spent the entire time in the car reading good reviews for this golden corral there were several five stars there was a lot of five stars for ambiance yeah mm -hmm. yeah the ambiance everybody kept talking about it <laughs> the thing about our ambiance is that it there was a severe thunderstorm occurring so that really i mean honestly added <laughs> to it I for know. us that gave me a five star that, for ambiance that, that that made it so that the entire time we were there we were under threat of the power going out at golden corral and being stuck there with no power like all the food, food expired. Yeah, like there's nothing oh, like. We would have had to step up and save that food. From the, the, the lights did the, flash. The, the lights flash several times. There's nothing worse about a golden corral than a golden corral with, without food. Than the threat of <laughs> captivity. Yeah, we were gonna be stuck <laughs> in the golden corral with cold food, and no, no ability to see each other aside from the no. glimpses that we get with lightning. Now is now is over. I feel so awful. Food has never made me cry before. <laughs> so well, for that reason, yeah. I feel like there's a being in my, like, inside me that, like, hates everything. You want to go kayaking tomorrow? Yes. Um, no. No. You want to go run? Sorry. No. A 5K? I don't even want to, like, walk too much. 
I did eat. I ate a lot of food, but my the, my my hope was to try a lot of different things, which is why I had like one French fry. It's because I was trying. I was trying to try as many one different French things. Fry and like half a plate of spaghetti. I tried so hard. I tried so hard to get a little spaghetti, and it just would. It was clumped, and the spaghetti was one of the worst things. So. <laughs> It was oh, really I'm so sad. Glad I didn't, it I was didn't. really okay. So, but real you quick, get credit, Steven, you cleaned your plates. Yeah, well, I don't want to be wasteful. So, first things first. What was everyone's favorite thing they ate? I think the taco. Taco was also mine. I thought you were gonna say favorite thing, and I was gonna say leaving. <laughs> Favorite thing you ate? The, my favorite thing was the taco. I feel the like the taco was pretty was good. Okay. The banana pudding? I like the carrot cake a lot. Okay. Of the store-bought carrot cake. Yeah, they didn't make it, so. Uh, <laughs> points for that. Yeah, I, I thought the taco slop was tolerable. And um, I had some of Haley's fried chicken. The fried chicken was pretty good. The fried chicken was yeah. pretty good. Well, so the first thing that I ate, mm -hmm. that my first plate was almost entirely fried food. And I was eating it, and I was like, "This is pretty. This is pretty all right." Like it was nothing was like exceptional, but nothing was bad. I was like, "This is pretty good." And then as I deviated away from fried food, I I started to experience more and more stuff that was like, "Oh." So I did it wrong because I had no fried food. Oh. At all. Yeah. That, yeah. Then I yeah I would cry. Yeah, because some of the fried food is actually I, is pretty decent. The fried chicken was great. Um. The worst thing that I ate was definitely the pizza. It oh, looked I took one look really at that bad. And said, nope. yeah. yeah, the pizza was bad. It had been out for several hours. It, yeah. It yes. Like it multiple they ate it at 8 a.m. Yeah, the pizza was very bad. The spaghetti was very bad. Golden Crow just doesn't do Italian food very well. If you had leftover pizza in your house and you took it out of the fridge and let it sit on the counter for as long as that pizza had been out at Golden Corral. It would taste And better. you came back yeah. to the room <laughs> and you saw that pizza and you went, oh crap, I left that out hours ago. You would have thrown it away instead of eating it. At Golden Corral, you eat it. The other thing that was really bad was the, um, the sesame chicken. Oh yeah, it was like eating right. a rock. Yeah, the chicken was real hard. Yeah. Yeah. No one, no one seemed to enjoy hard. the churros. The churros were hilarious. Churros were so they were so confusing. They were yeah, they, I, they they had no seasoning yeah, on them. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, taste bad. They didn't they like really like didn't if, taste. if there's a churro, I'll eat it. But like, <laughs> yeah. It, um, so the thing that made me cry was the pot roast. Did you mm. try it? Oh yeah, yeah. the pot roast it was had so it. Bad. The pot roast was like like charcoal. Yeah. Like it like flaked apart like charcoal. Yeah. It tasted foul. Like it had, I'm not, sour isn't the right word, but See, something approaching sour is what I had. The thing is that when I put it on my plate, I immediately looked at it and went, hmm, and then I covered it in gravy. Ah, no gravy. So I didn't have to, <laughs> the I did not. The secret to making I, the food taste good is to cover it with <laughs> Yeah, I was, I, I was not going to raw dog that pot roast. <laughs> um. What was everyone's, what was the worst thing that people ate? For me, it was definitely, like, I think the pizza. For me, it was the one gummy bear that tasted like celery. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the gummy bears were fine, but that one really caught me off. <laughs> and I did not enjoy you, it at you, all. When you slipped into full southern accent, you're like, something right. Something <laughs> <laughs> <Ain't> right. <laughs> I love that story. I love that story a lot. I um, I think we learned something. I the first thing I learned was, man, Golden Crow is so much better than KNW. Like it's no, not even no, it's close. Not. Yes, no, it is it's not. Yes, oh it is. God. Holy cow! I, I, I can yeah, I can uh, kind of testify that it's better, but like, when that's your bar. It's not a good you can, you can get it's decent food at K&W if you know what to order. Oh, do, do you have antacid? Oh, yeah, they're in there. Thank God. Like, at K&W, oh. you, you order one, the entree, and two or three sides, and the roll, and there you go. You're set. And if you choose if you choose the right things, like a hamburger steak, you can't mess that up. It's going to be tolerable. Golden Corral is just a never-ending circus of disappointment. 
Like you get a plate and you eat it and you're like, oh, this is really bad. Every single I'll go get another plate. Hopefully that won't be as bad and it's worse. Anybody want any tums? Oh, I, we already we already got it. My, my, so my, my, my takeaway from, from Golden Corral, because this is really like the first buffet that I've been to in like a a long time, yeah. like yeah. maybe ten years. Yeah. My 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 first thought is that the age of buffet is dead. Yes. It's it is definitely dead. Um, most of the food was like there was nothing that was exceptionally good. There was quite a few things that were fine. And if I found myself in a position where I had to go to a buffet again, like to impress a client, <laughs> why would you? I'm, Do you know I'm just how business think... work. <laughs> You don't okay. go to a buffet to impress a client. Listen, I don't know. Lose a I'm just, uh, I have to, okay, so my, my grandma comes into town. She wants to go to Golden Corral. How do I survive Golden Corral? The trick is eat the fried food. Yeah, fried chicken. You need to eat the fried food There's and don't taco. deviate from that. Fried Tacos, chicken, stuff. celery gummy bears as your side salad. Here's the thing. I think, I think buffets are good if it's a specific like genre of food. Genre of food. Yeah. When you're like oh, trying buffet. to do everything, Chinese then nothing is. Yeah, buffet. yeah. I I think if you want a good buffet with a variety of foods in this day and age, you got to go to like a casino. Yeah, casino. So buffets I think for are Brandon's next no, birthday, I've, I've been to casino buffets before. We're gonna take a road trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, to go to a good road buffet. trip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your next birthday is gonna be wild. <laughs> I just wanted to give a little update because we've all sat here. <laughs> like from that last clip, it's been going on like 20 or 30 minutes and there's been a lot of sitting in silence and <laughs> so and sighing. Yeah, I took a Tums. Yeah? Yeah. Does it help? Not yet? Uh, I, the, the, th the takeaway, the biggest takeaway from this honestly is the fact that like for for how much was the buffet? Seventeen dollars, for like for that amount of money, like you could eat, like something would be like good. Yeah, yeah, yeah you could eat like a good like a good meal. You could eat like a good meal. Yeah, you could if you wanted to like cook. If you wanted to cook, you could, you could cook eat many meals. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But even just like yeah, a restaurant, you can get like the shrimp. The shrimp special at Captain D's for $9.95. Yeah. That's, that's almost half a golden crown. Are we, are we going to eat cake? You have to eat cake. I need a bed, but yeah, we should. We need a bed, yeah. Like, let's give it 30 minutes. What a crime it would be. <laughs> should, uh, <laughs> should I keep the antacids out or should I put those away? I already had mine. I'll take some. Okay, I'll keep them out. Just because everyone else is doing them and I want to be included. <laughs> I also need them. I don't want to push it. drugs on anyone. They taste like bottle caps. Sing happy birthday again? Yeah. 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 Do you want like a different rendition this time or? Yeah. What kind of rendition? Can we do like the Please public? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh. Yeah, just keep, just keep going. This really fits with the... When I was a young boy, I had a birthday, and now you have a birthday too. It's not my birthday. And when God drove a Toyota, I told him I owed him. We pray God that you really excited about that, and I found. Yes. Yeah.
I think it's supposed to be consistently sparkly. Yeah, slightly sparkly. I don't like that very much. Oh, it's very pretty with the lights off. Happy birthday, Brandon. Thanks, guys. I'm on end our suffering. Oh my god! Oh wow! You only got one. Well, let's keep going. There is a chance the kitchen will catch on fire? Oh, I can't wait. Then you get a new kitchen. <laughs> this is horrifying. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like the part where the fire went somewhere. All right, let's wow. eat this cake. Oh, there's like... There's stuff there's in it. There's stuff inside. Oh my gosh. So, so now you made this. This is a caramel. It's a vanilla it's a cake with vanilla a caramel filling and a caramel frosting. Yes. And it's salted. And it's salted. And, salted. and there's extra salt. Yeah. For, so you can do. Reason. You can do. <laughs> you can have some too. Well, you you can start. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can do the first bite without salt. Is it? Is it how is it? Oh, it's good. It's a great cake. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's got so. it's got sugar I mean, in yeah, it. It's got I hope so. I'm gonna start the coffee. <laughs> well, everyone just left. I gotta tell you, I had been feeling pretty good, like ha having sat on the couch for a good almost hour, and then I put cake in my body. Cake was delicious. Thank you. Did a good job Thank on the you. cake. The cake was very good. Um, yes. I was, however, not feeling ready for cake, but um, I had it anyway. And now. The suffering. The suffering. Yeah, I I felt like I was ready for cake, and I got halfway through the cake, and my body was like, "Buddy, what, what are you, you what are you doing?" And I was like, "Oh no, um, I don't have any regrets about today. I I knew I it's been a long time since I've been to Golden Corral. I knew that the the food experience was going to be a, a relative unknown, and I I'm glad to have experienced it with my friends. But again. <laughs> I do feel really strongly. I'm like, you know, it's $17. That's a lot. I didn't know it was that much. It's 17, it's 17 to eat at the Golden Corral. And, you know, I could go to a different place and I won't have the variety of food, it's true, but I will probably get something that is uh, better, you know, for cheaper and if not like the same amount of money. So. I would probably do that. I probably will not go back to the Golden Corral. But it is good to know that, you know, if you are with like someone who just really wants to go to a buffet, because I mean, some people like to have variety. I get it. For, for me specifically, I'm not a huge fan, but if I went back, like, yeah, I could, I could eat, you know, certain foods that would be, that would be okay. I would get like, I'd get fried stuff. The fried fish, like my first plate, my first plate was actually all right. Fried fish, fried, uh, the fried chicken was good. Um, the shrimp, the fried shrimp was good. Like there were definitely some things on, on the menu tonight that were like, they were not very good. But most, most stuff was fine. Most stuff was fine. And um, if, I, if, I, if I had to go back, I could do it. But I hope I don't have to. Because <laughs> my stomach is foul. And the other thing is like, when you, it, one, of, one of the reasons Mal does not like buffets, which is totally reasonable, is that they are a bit of a, like a food safety nightmare where you have to have so many different things that you have to keep like at food safe temperatures and have to worry about like cycling out. So like it is, it's, it's a huge nightmare. And I ate the biggest variety of foods tonight. So I am at the most risk of suffering. Um, so that's fun. Happy birthday, Brandon. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?